Hello, 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 and welcome back to Elevation 44. I'm your host, Beverly, or B. And if you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Today, we are diving into another weekly astrology update. And, you know, we'll be covering September 23rd through September 29th. This is the last week of September. So we are really moving and grooving through this year. We are about to round out this calendar year pretty soon. And we are smack dab in the middle of eclipse season. Last week was a powerful Pisces full moon eclipse, super full moon eclipse. And we are also gearing up for a solar eclipse on October 2nd in the sign of Libra. So lots and lots and lots of activity happening. Um, And this energy is dense and there's a lot to deal with, but it's okay. This is why we have these reports. So we are aware of what we're dealing with. So we can adjust and move through accordingly. Okay. In addition, there's just a lot of also interesting things happening as Pluto has regressed or retrograded back into Capricorn and is doing its last tearing down of the power structures that no longer serve us. So some interesting things have been unfolding in the entertainment industry, also on the world stage with governments and, um, you know, corporations and big businesses and people in high power. So just keep your eyes on that. Keep your eyes on the world stage and politics and and big businesses and different governments and different power and control structures around the world because things are going to be unfolding and unfolding pretty quickly at that. So let's see how it all plays out. But we are also at the top of Libra season, which is balancing out the scale. So This also plays into the theme of balancing things out. So we are really just watching it unfold. We're, you know, participating, you know, but we are also just observers. Um, So it is very interesting, interesting times. Now, let's go ahead and, like I said, drive into the transits from September 23rd to September 29th, because this week is going to be heavy on mercury energy mercury is very active this week and it is on the move as well so our communication our healing and our personal growth is really being highlighted okay get your cozy beverage get your notebook and your pen or your calendar out and let's start to get right into it so starting with Tuesday, September 24th, we have Mercury in Virgo, trying Uranus in Taurus, okay? So with Mercury, our thinking, our communication, our processing of information in Uranus, the breakthrough, the innovator, the one that gives these sudden flashes of genius. When these two come together to form this really harmonious trine, It's perfect for fresh ideas and innovative thinking. So this is a great time when breakthroughs can happen, especially when you've been working through something challenging. If you have just been bumping your head up against the the wall here and you're like, man, I just can't seem to get to a solution. I just can't figure out my way through this situation or this thing that I'm dealing with. This might be the day where you get that, okay? Where you get that. So take some time, make some time to, you know, really dedicate to just thinking through things. So if you're involved in technical, analytical, intellectual work, you know, this is key energy for supporting that, those flashes of insight. Just be open to changing how you approach problems because Uranus really promotes change um, and embracing changes because a lot of times it comes unexpectedly and, you know, can throw people off. But that's when that genius, that's when that magic happens. Okay. So 
it can bring you unexpected solutions if you're changing your approach to how open you are for that, okay? So it's also a good day to dive into exciting conversations or you just might have surprising or random conversations. So just embrace the new um, for this day, okay? Moving on to Wednesday, September 25th. We have Mercury in Virgo, opposite Neptune in Pisces, okay? So Mercury, again, super active. But Mercury is also going to be trining Pluto in Capricorn, okay? So this is very, very interesting because that opposition between Mercury and Neptune, because Neptune can be cloudy. It can, you know, be very elusive. So it creates some confusion in our thinking, it also creates misunderstandings in our communication. So we have to be mindful on this day of what we're hearing or saying because it may not come out as clear or be received as clear as it should, right? So Neptune's, you know, fogginess, like I said, it can just be kind of very illusionary. It just makes things appear more unclear or even idealized, right? So this might be one of those energies where you need to avoid making decisions based on vague information or things that you're uncertain about. But Mercury will be trining Pluto and Capricorn, right? And so this aspect will balance out that confusion a bit, right? So it's allowing us to dig deep and uncover the truth. So just don't take things at face value. Try to get deeper and try to find out the things below the surface that's not being communicated or appearing as clear as it should, right? So this is an excellent day for you to research, to be introspective, or to just really find something hidden that, you know, needs to come to light. So it's helping you get to the root of any issues that could be there. So use this trine, use this energy to focus your mental energy on getting to the bottom of things, okay? Moving on to Friday, September 27th, Mercury is on the move again, and it's entering the sign of Libra shifting our focus from deep analyzation and details and that perfectionism (laughs) that Virgo's energy can bring, right? That thinking that's just like getting super precise and wants things laid out in a very methodical, perfect way. And it's moving into Libra, which is more focusing on balanced communication and diplomacy, right? This is where we come in with like more of a peaceful or harmonious approach because that Mercury and Libra is like, we just want everybody to get along. Can we just all get along? <laughs> That's literally the vibe, right? So apparent, uh, approaching things rather with a more balanced mindset, with fairness, with justice, with just keeping the peace is what this energy favor. So it's a great time to smooth over conflicts while Mercury is in Libra. It's a great time to seek harmony in your relationships. Your conversations are likely to be more graceful and it's just easier to find common ground with others when communicating under this energy. Um, But on the same day, we have this healing transit, right? Where we have Jupiter sextile Chiron in Aries, okay? And Jupiter is in Gemini, if I forgot to mention that. So Jupiter is the planet of expansion. It's really helping us heal those old wounds because Chiron is the wounded healer. And in Aries, it's about those self-identity wounds, right? So that expansion on healing energy is what this is really helping us. So this energy encourages us to address our pain, our vulnerability, and really approach it from a place of growth, okay? So I would say key for this day is a good day to face your fears and insecurities um, with courage so that you can get personal development or growth through that process. So anything that is feeling particularly painful internally when it comes to your self-identity, dive into that, lean into that uncomfort, into that pain so that you can ultimately heal. So 
whether it's a learning uh, action or mentoring through whatever your experience has been, or even a heartfelt conversation, right? Sharing the impact of how you've had to move through certain things in your life. This is going to support your growth and healing. Moving on to Saturday, September 28th. We have two important aspects happening this day. The first aspect is Mars and Cancer will be forming a trine with Saturn and Pisces. And this is a harmonious display of energy between the two, right? And this is both Mars, which is our energy, our drive, our action, our determination, and Saturn, our discipline, our structure, our responsibility. They're both sitting in these water signs. So it's bringing action in form of a steady, disciplined way, right? And so while Mars and Cancer is very emotionally driven, so it's taking action from the emotional lens, Saturn is helping channel this energy into focus action. So it's not just emotional actions just for the sake of it. It's just like a very intentional action that's taken, informed by your emotions in a productive way. So it's the perfect day to work towards your long-term goals and take actions towards success, right? You'll feel grounded and ready to tackle those responsibilities, but you'll be ready to take action, informed action from the place of using your emotions to guide you, okay? On this day as well, we have the sun in Libra conjuncts the south node, all right? And the south node represents our past. It represents our karmic lessons. So when the sun and the south node meet here, we are called to revisit old patterns or relationships, okay? And I'm not saying you have to go back to the relationships. I'm saying you're revisiting that, whether that be mentally, just really getting deep clarity around your past situation so that you can review them. So asking yourself in this context, what do I need to release in order to move forward? What patterns have I had in my relationships that no longer serve me that need to go, okay? This is a very powerful transit for breaking free from what no longer serves you so that you can allow yourself to align with your true path. So in order to go towards that north node, to go towards the, the, the energy that and the focus that we should be focused on, we have to leave behind the things that are keeping us stuck. And that's what this is intended to do. Moving on to Sunday, September 29th. We also have Mercury. Again, <laughs> Mercury is so active this week. Conjunct the sun and the south node in Libra. And we just talked about what that sun and south node in Libra conjunction is. But with Mercury in the mix here, it really illuminates the way we think and communicate. So moments of clarity, especially when you're reflecting on those past situations, is easier to come across, right? And you might find that old conversations unresolved issues, or even people from your past come back into focus, okay? So it's really focusing on the processing piece, the understanding piece, and the communication piece of that, all right? So this is a great time for reviewing your past and seeing how far you've come, but do not get stuck in those old patterns. Just because you're reviewing, we don't want you to stay there. We want you to review and move on. Let go and move on, all right? So use this clarity of Mercury and the sun to really express yourself thoughtfully, letting go of any baggage that's weighing you down. And it's just really a great time for insight and growth and a great opportunity to learn from your past. So that in a nutshell, is what we'll be dealing with this week from an astrological point of view. So this energy is pushing us to move forward, to heal, and to also just revisit the past so that we can move forward and heal, right? But remember, because this is air energy, right? A lot of this Libra energy is air energy. We got to stay grounded in these moments of confusion and just take advantage of the clarity that is coming our way, all right? So if you have enjoyed this entire 
conversation, I would love for you to give a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, if you're on the podcast and you're listening, please rate the show. That helps get the message out to more people. And I will talk to you all very soon. Enjoy the rest of your week.